The grand jury investigating an alleged hush money payment by former President Trump set to return to work today. Trump continues to claim the case is just a witch hunt against him. Wake Up Show's Bree Jackson now in Washington with more. Ben, the New York grand jury hearing the case against former President Trump met twice last week but took no action. Facing a possible indictment, the former president has ramped up his rhetoric against investigators. As a grand jury weighs whether former President Trump should be charged in connection to an alleged hush money payment to an adult film star, he bristled at questions about the investigation. I believe that if anything ever happened with a case that's a fake case, the 2024 Republican presidential candidate also aired his grievances during his first major campaign rally in Waco, Texas, Saturday. This is really prosecutorial misconduct. That's what it's called. The innocence of people makes no difference whatsoever to these radical left maniacs. Trump denies any wrongdoing. His legal team standing firmly behind him. Because it's a case that shouldn't be brought and wouldn't be brought up for anyone other than Donald Trump. Experts say cases like this can be difficult to prosecute. It's a provable case. Um, you have challenges, like in any case. District Attorney Alvin Bragg shows no signs of backing down, despite threats against him and his office. It's actually a, a part of a larger piece, which is an attack on our democracy. The rhetoric is absolutely out of control on both sides, on all sides. The former president has been escalating his rhetoric against Bragg as the DA weighs possible criminal charges. In a now deleted social media post, the former president posted a picture of him wielding a baseball bat next to a picture of Bragg. The former president's legal team tried to distance itself from the violent rhetoric, calling it ill-advised. In Washington, Bree Jackson, Wake Up Charlotte.